Are you eager to enter the lucrative $23 billion sandwich shop market? Curious about the key strategies for creating a successful sandwich shop business? Watch our video as we share the latest industry statistics, expert advice, and practical steps for launching and growing your own unique sandwich shop in the competitive market. Starting a sandwich business in your country can be a profitable venture as the country is known for its love for food and the demand for sandwiches is high. To ensure success in this industry, it's important to have a unique concept and offer great taste and quality. Here are some tips to consider when creating a sandwich business plan. Come up with unique and innovative sandwich ideas, whether it's fusion sandwiches or traditional recipes. Create an aesthetically pleasing ambience for your shop to attract customers and make it Instagram-worthy. Choose a location with high foot traffic, such as near colleges, schools, and commercial areas. Hire skilled and experienced staff who have knowledge of preparing a wide variety of sandwiches and prioritize hygiene. Obtain all necessary licenses and permits. Invest in high-quality commercial sandwich-making equipment that can withstand daily use. Develop a marketing and branding strategy to establish your shop's image and attract customers. In addition to these tips, it's also important to keep in mind the importance of maintaining a consistent menu, providing good customer service, and keeping up with industry trends. With careful planning and execution, a sandwich business can be a successful venture in your country. Starting a business is not for everyone. It's a big commitment and it requires a lot of work and dedication. The truth is, it all depends on one thing, your commitment. Your commitment to the business can lead you to a billion-dollar business or a big failure and waste of time. If you feel like you are ready to take the jump, work 100 hours a week, and create something amazing, then by all means go for it. But if you feel like you wouldn't do much work and would procrastinate, then maybe starting a business isn't such a good idea. It's important to be honest with yourself and your capabilities. No matter what your decision is, be sure to consider your level of commitment, as it is, in my opinion, one of the most important qualities you can have to create a successful business. It's not about the money, it's not about the fame, it's about the passion and the drive to make something happen. Starting a business is not easy, but it's one of the most rewarding things you can do. It's a journey that requires a lot of hard work, dedication, and commitment. But, if you are truly committed, you will find a way to make it happen. Launching a sandwich shop can be a wise and profitable venture for various reasons. 1. Sandwiches are a well-liked and convenient food choice for those seeking a quick and budget-friendly meal. The fast food industry is a large and expanding market as more people desire quick and convenient meal options. Additionally, the demand for healthy and gourmet sandwiches is increasing as people are becoming more health-conscious. Starting a sandwich shop requires a relatively low investment for equipment and inventory and can be run as a sole proprietorship or small partnership. The sandwich shop can be adapted to different areas and customer groups, providing the opportunity to target niche markets and cater to specific needs. Offering a variety of menu options and services, such as delivery and catering, can generate multiple sources of income, which can reduce risks and ensure a steady income. In summary, starting a sandwich shop can be a sound business decision due to the growing popularity of sandwiches, the trend for healthy and gourmet sandwiches, and the adaptability to different locations and demographics. Additionally, the low barrier to entry and potential for multiple sources of income make it an attractive business idea. If you're starting a new business for the first time, you should take every opportunity to give your new enterprise the best chance of success. Use these top business tips and advice to help your business succeed. Key Takeaways the best way to start a business is to have passion for your project, friends and clients lined up for your business, and start while you still have another job. You'll need to write a business plan backed by strong research to clarify your vision and attract investors. Putting extra effort into the legal and tax issues up front can save you headaches down the road. 1. Be passionate. You don't have to love whatever your business is about and probably shouldn't, but you do have to be fired up about it. You're going to devote a lot of time and energy to starting a business and building it into a successful enterprise, so it's really important that you truly deeply enjoy what you do, whether it be running fishing charters, creating pottery, or providing financial advice. 2. Start while you are still employed. How long can most people live without money? Not long. And it may be a long time before your new business actually makes any profits. Being employed while you're starting a business means money in your pocket while you're going through the startup process. 3. Don't do it alone. You need a support system while you're starting a business, a family member or friend that you can bounce ideas off and who will listen sympathetically to the latest business startup crisis is invaluable. Even better, find a mentor or, if you qualify, apply for a business startup program. For example, Futurepreneur Canada offers financing, mentoring, and support tools to entrepreneurs between the ages of 18 and 39.
Note, when you're starting a business, experience guidance is the best support system of all. 4. Get clients or customers lined up. Don't wait until you've officially started your business to line these up because your business can't survive without them. Do the networking, make the contacts, sell or even give away your products or services. You can't start marketing too soon. 5. Write a business plan. The main reason for doing a business plan first when you're thinking of starting a business is that it can help you avoid sinking your time and money into starting a business that will not succeed. 6. Do your research. You'll do a lot of research writing a business plan, but that's just a start. When you're starting a business, you need to become an expert on your industry, products, and services. Joining related industry or professional associations before you start your business is a great idea. 7. Get professional help. On the other hand, just because you're starting a business doesn't mean you have to be an expert on everything. If you're not an accountant or bookkeeper, hire one. If you need to write up a contract and you're not a lawyer, hire one. You will waste more time and possibly money in the long run trying to do things yourself that you are not qualified to do. 8. Make sure the money is lined up. Save up if you have to. Approach potential investors and lenders. Figure out your financial fallback plan. Don't expect to start a business and then walk into a bank and get money. Traditional lenders don't like new ideas and don't like businesses without proven track records. 9. Be professional. Everything about you and the way you do business needs to let people know that you are a professional running a serious business. That means getting all the accounterments such as professional business cards, a business phone, and a business email address, and treating people in a professional, courteous manner. 10. Get the legal and tax issues correct the first time. It's much more difficult and expensive to unsnarl a mess afterward. Does your business need to be registered? Will you have to have workers' compensation insurance or deal with payroll taxes? How will the form of business ownership you choose affect your income tax situation? Learn what your legal and tax responsibilities are before you start your business. Note: Following the business tips will make starting your new business both a smoother and less stressful process. It'll go a long way towards ensuring the business you start lasts and thrives. Deciding to start your own business is a leap of faith. It requires pushing out of your comfort zone and trying something new. If that idea excites you, why wait around? You're ready to take the leap and be the CEO of your own company. It's a lot of work and there are some risks, but the potential for rewards is huge. If you're not convinced yet, here are 10 of the best reasons for starting your own business. 1. Each day at the office will be motivating. When you're working for someone else, it can be tough to find the motivation to do the best possible work. No matter how much work you put in, the owners of the company will get the ultimate rewards. When you're your own boss, you'll find motivation at work every day. Following your dreams is exciting and you're in control of your own success. The day-to-day -day vitality of your business depends on you, so you'll be driven to make each day as productive as you can. You'll know that your own hard work and drive will help you reap the rewards and that'll keep the fire burning in your belly to make each day count. 2. You'll be following your passions. Many entrepreneurs start their own businesses to follow their dreams and fulfill their passion. Following your dreams will fulfill you in a way that working for someone else may not do. You are in charge of creating your business from the ground up so you can shape your company to be something you're proud of and that you may even be able to pass on to your children as your legacy. 3. You can pursue social justice or support nonprofits. One of the most fulfilling parts of becoming an entrepreneur is setting up your company for social gain. You can opt to support nonprofits, charities, or community efforts with your profits. Or you can set up your business to solve a problem in your community or in the world at large, whatever your passion may be. For example, consider Snow Day, a company started by teach-turned entrepreneur Jordan Lexton. It's a food truck, but it's doing more than just filling the hungry bellies of passersby. Snow Day employs young people that have been incarcerated, which makes it harder for them to find work and helps them gain valuable skills and experience on the job. Starting your own business gives you a unique opportunity to make the world a better place. 4. You can achieve financial independence. Many people commit to starting a business with the dream of financial comfort. While it's true that getting your company off the ground can take grit and result in some lean times while you're getting started, the ultimate goal of being your own boss is cultivating financial independence. With determination and hard work, there's no cap on how lucrative your own business can be. If you aspire to build wealth, there's no reason why you can't achieve that goal. Starting your own business has several financial benefits over working for a wage or salary. First, you're building an enterprise that has the potential for growth, and your wallet grows as your company does. Second, your business itself is a valuable asset. As your business grows, it's worth more and more. You may decide to sell it, or you may hold on to it and pass it down to your heirs. Either way, it's valuable. 
5. You can control your lifestyle and your schedule. Perhaps you've spent years in the corporate world and you feel ready to turn over a new leaf after years of reporting to a superior. Starting your own business can give you a more flexible lifestyle and schedule so you don't feel like you're running in circles on that corporate hamster wheel. You can opt to schedule meetings around your family schedule or you can opt to work from home. The sky's the limit when you're the boss. You still have to get the work done, but nobody's looking over your shoulder making sure you do it their way on their time. Starting a business is hard work, and that flexible schedule may not happen right away. Even if you're working long hours, however, you know that you're doing it for yourself and your family and not for a distant boss or shareholder. 6. You can start from scratch. This is your business. You make the rules. You're not restricted by the standards and procedures of your boss or corporate culture. You can offer a product or a service that fits your vision. You can also build your company according to your own ideas. Maybe you've thought of a way to make processes more efficient. Maybe you want to make sure your employees get fair wages and family leave time. Whatever problems you've encountered in the working world, you have a chance to do something different with your own business. Many entrepreneurs say that once they've sampled the freedom of being their own boss and calling the shots at running their own company, they'd never want to work for someone else again. 7. You'll get tax benefits. Starting your own business takes funding, and it may take some time to turn a profit, but you can start taking advantage of some substantial tax breaks right off the bat. Government programs support small business entrepreneurship and seek to reward these endeavors with impressive tax incentives. You'll want to work with a financial planner or an accountant to make sure you're setting up your business in a way that will allow you to get the benefit of these government programs. Note that there are also a variety of programs aimed specifically at businesses started by women and minorities so you may be able to get grant funding and other benefits to get your business off the ground. 8. You'll have true job security. The stress of climbing the corporate ladder is real. You never know whether you'll be promoted or whether you may be handed a pink slip. These life-altering decisions are in someone else's hands and beyond your control. When you start your own company, you know you're investing in your future and in your own job security. Moreover, should you choose to start a family business, you could be providing jobs for other members of your family as well. Your destiny is in your own hands. No more layoffs in your future. 9. You'll become an expert at a broad range of skills. Part of running your own business is learning to wear a lot of different hats, especially early on. You'll have to pick up a lot of new skills, from HR decisions to inventory management to customer service. You'll soon become a pro in your own industry, as well as a pro at a variety of new skills you'll learn on the job. As your business develops, you'll continue to pick up new knowledge and abilities. You'll know how every tiny aspect of your operation works. You can't get that kind of experience anywhere else. As your business grows, you may opt to continue manning the helm for those tasks you enjoy, whether that's graphic design or accounting, but you can outsource those tasks that you dread. You can also turn those skills to new tasks. Who knows? You may even want to start another business. 10. You can be creative. It's up to you to decide what your business will produce, sell, or which services it will offer. Rather than following the formula of those who came before you, you're looking at a chance to develop a concept or an idea that nobody else ever has. Even if you stay mainstream with your product or service, each day as an entrepreneur allows you to find new, outside-the-book ways to problem-solve. Innovation and creativity are necessary traits for a successful entrepreneur, and you'll hone those skills daily. Knowing that each day brings new challenges, exciting opportunities, and a chance to engage your passion is reason enough to start your own business. Knowing that you've decided to take control of your own future is empowering. What are you waiting for? The time is now. We hope this video has provided you with the information and inspiration you need to start your own business. Remember, success doesn't come overnight, and it's important to have patience, resilience, and a positive attitude. Thank you for watching and good luck on your journey.